Bayraktar Akinsi Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, UCAF, Bayraktar Akinsi is a long endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAF, developed by Turkish drone manufacturer Baker, which was formerly known as Baker Makina. Designed to operate with different ammunition configurations, Bayraktar Akinsi allows the company to upgrade its unmanned aerial vehicle, UAF, technology is per future requirements. The drone is the successor of Bayraktar TB2 Tactical UAF and serves as a leading variant in its class. The high-tech unmanned aircraft has been designed to perform various operations supporting fighter jets. It is equipped with dual satellite communication systems, air-to-air -air radar, electronic support systems, collision avoidance radar and synthetic aperture radar. Bayraktar Akinsi Development Details Baker unveiled the drone at the Technofest Istanbul Aviation, Space and Technology Festival in September 2019. First engine test of the vehicle was performed in September 2019 while the maiden flight was completed in December 2019. The unmanned aerial vehicle will serve the Turkish security forces in both air-to-ground and air-to-air -air attack missions. Akinsi UKAF's first prototype, PT-1 made its second flight in January 2020 and landed at the Kolu Airport Base Command in Tekodag Province for further testing in May 2020. PT-2, the second prototype, completed its testing in August 2020, followed by a developed system identification test in March 2021. The first flight of the Bayraktar Akinsi's third prototype was successfully completed in March 2021. The Akinsi UCAF successfully completed its first firing test in April 2021. Developed locally by Turkish weapons manufacturer Okid, the munitions that were used during the testing included laser-guided smart micro-munitions, MAM, namely MAM-T, MAM-C and MAM-L. The flight test for the first mass-produced Bayraktar Akinsi UCAF was completed in May 2021. The unmanned system was delivered to Turkey in August 2021. Baker signed first export deal for the UCAF in January 2022. It is expected to deliver the ground systems and the Akinsi UCAF to the customer by 2023. Design and features of Bayraktar Akinsi UCAF The Bayraktar Akinsi UCAF has a fault tolerance tolerance system architecture and a cross-redundant ground control station architecture. It features uniquely designed fuselage and wings for enhancing its ability to carry a variety of payloads. It can perform operations that are conventionally performed by fighter jets. The combat drone has a length of 12.2 meters, height of 4.1 meters, wingspan of 20 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 5,500 kilograms. It has the capability to take off and land on a runway. Flight control and avionics. The combat UAF is equipped with a triple redundant flight control system. The dual artificial intelligence, AI powered avionics system integrated into the platform helps in improving signal processing sensor fusion and situational awareness in real time. Advanced features of the Akinsi UCAF include fully automatic and semi-automatic flight modes, as well as unique flight control and avionics architecture. Domestically developed satellites can be used to control the combat drone. The drone uses advanced AI features to collect and process data received from onboard sensors and cameras. The sensors and actuators are highly redundant. The AI system can determine key details pertaining to the aircraft such as the angle of roll, stand up, and orientation. Sensor payloads on Akinsi UCAF. The drone has the capacity to carry a maximum payload of 1,350 kilograms including simultaneous electro-optic-slash-infrared-slash-laser designation, EO-slash-ear-slash-LD, multi-mode active electronically scanned array, ACER, radar, and signals intelligence, SIGINT, system. Weapon payloads on Bayraktar Akinsi UCAF The UCAF will be fitted with different weapon payloads such as laser-guided smart munitions, missiles, and long-range standoff weapons. The weapon payloads that can be carried by the drone include Sirit Missile, Mini Smart Munition Bozok, Mamel, Thermobaric, Mamasi, High Explosive, 
long-range anti-tank missile system, Elamters, missile, Mk-81, Mk-82, Mk-83 guided bombs, Shdam. The UKAF can also be armed with Gokdogan and Bosdogan air-to-air missiles, wing-assisted Mk-82 guided bomb, and SME standoff missile. Ground Control Station the ground control station utilizes triple bands to implement both line of sight, loss, control and video transmission, while beyond line of sight, blows, control and video transmission of the drone is enabled through satellite communication, SATCOM. The drone supports blows operations through global satellite networks and attendant ground data terminals. The ground control station features various components including NATO specification shelter systems, tactical radio systems, intercom systems, multifunction pilot console, radar, and payload operator consoles. Engines and performance Akinsi is powered by two turboprop engines which can generate a power output of 450 horsepower each. An option to install 750 horsepower engines or locally made 240 horsepower engines is also available. The unmanned aircraft can burn Jet A1 and JP8 fuel types. The upward thrust is imparted by turboprop with five blade propeller. The unmanned vehicle can achieve a cruise speed of 1. 150 kilotons and a maximum speed of 250 kilotons with an operational range of 5,000 kilometers and an endurance of up to 20 hours. Operational altitude and maximum altitude of the UKAF are 30,000 feet and 40,000 feet, respectively.